here we are back at the Wallingford Passive House. Uh, lots of uh, lots of developments. It's pretty exciting. One of the priorities of the clients on this place is that they want to do. They're going to be here for many years. Um, this is their their last house they're going to live in. We've got a lot of details. And one of the, one of the important elements is that they don't want to have to do much maintenance on the building. So they don't want to have to every uh, 10, 15, 20 years get out and uh, concern themselves with how the exterior is deteriorating, the the paint or any kind of elements they're 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 not that need that that kind of continual uh, maintenance every number of years. So the main siding element is going to be a fiber cement panel with an integral color, so it never needs to be painted in its entire existence. And then secondly. A vast majority of our exterior detailing is done in metal, which again needs minimal, minimal maintenance, minimal uh, painting, minimal uh, alteration, very durable, uh, good kind of finishes on these uh, exterior flashing pieces. So all of our exterior uh, pieces are now metal and fiber cement panels. Um, those are less, say, forgiving in, in for variation, less uh, workable than wood. One of the beauties about wood is you can shape it and move it and, and, and take just a little bit off. So with a slightly less forgiving finish detail we had to be more exacting with our substrate. So with what it's being attached to. So we're ha we have three inches of exterior mineral wool going on the building and but in these areas the, the, the sort of crushability of mineral wool is a boon in some cases and it's a, a, a hurdle in other cases. So if we look down here at this strap, I can now take my mineral wool and go over this strap. It will crush around, uh, around this strap and I won't get this uh, uh, deflection due to the hardware that's on the building or you know little tiny bits of sealant that have a little bit of buildup. Whereas if we had a rigid uh, EPS material or a polyiso material, this would create a bulge in our siding. So on some levels, the mineral wool is really helping us because we can get a really nice flat detailing for that uh, siding element. But when we're getting around our windows, now we have to concern ourselves with the, that same crushability. So we've, in working with the architect, come up with this aspect where we're installing a rigid piece immediately behind our, uh, our window trim detail. Then the mineral wool will come up and butt tight to this and we'll have the uh, lattice structure, which we'll see later, that is going to be behind this siding, behind the final cladding of the building. And we're going to have another, another metal detail piece that wraps around the, uh, the fiber cement panels. So it's, kind of, it's a really fun but more intricate detailing in terms of making sure everything is ready to receive a less tolerant siding material. So we have to be very specific by what we're doing behind it but it's going to deliver a really nice clean product, a nice durable product, something we, that uh, the clients are just going to be able to live with for many, many, many years and, uh, and enjoy it with that minimal maintenance level and uh, just kind of enjoy living in this beautiful house and not have to uh, concern themselves with taking, uh, taking care of it nearly as much.